So, um, before I got on this live, I called one person. I called my friend for 12 years, Sierra. So if you've seen any blogs, any post, people be wanting to say the most evilest things to me. Let me tell you something. When I made that post, I did want to end my life. But instead what I did is I deleted my social media and I went into a hotel and I stayed there this whole time and I detached myself away from everything that I could think of. The remarks, the, <laughs> the remarks and the bashing, um, I didn't do this for attention. I'm talented. I got so many things to be thankful for, but so many things that be feeling like demons I'm fighting. I didn't call nobody because I didn't want to be found. I didn't speak to nobody because I didn't want to speak to nobody. I suffer from depression. I do not want nobody to ever feel sorry for me. People want to know so bad. Y'all want to know so bad, I'm going to give it to you one time and one time only. I have a mother right now that is suing me. Telling me that I need to tell the world that I never got raped. Okay. I've paid for a divorce. And I'm not even supposed to be talking about this as I'm being sued right now. <laughs> I have paid for a divorce from her, from this man. I have sent money over and over and over again to make sure she is okay. I have shaved my head three times, two of the times. I felt like I was lied to about her having cancer. I have done everything possible after a a, a child gets sent away for a, for telling that her stepfather molested her. So I've been dealing with that since January. Okay? And I have not said nothing at all. I have said nothing. I've said nothing about it. <laughs> That's one. Since everybody wants to know so much about me. So my grandmother died June 7th. We all know that I talk about my mental health. We all know that I talk about my depression. We know that I fully talk about my anxiety because I'm, it's not something I'm proud of, but it is a part of me. It's been a part of me since I was a child and I fight with it. I have not took my medication since my, since right before my grandmother started getting really bad which is around february okay since y'all want to know so much so now you can take my words and put the right things out to the world because some of the shit that i see and you wonder why you wonder why people want to detach themselves you wonder why my grandmother died june 7th june 10th i still had to fly to miami and do three music videos. <laughs> Smile at people's faces like this shit cool. Go to a funeral on the 19th. And another person dies after that. Y'all talk about some, oh, she 
you know she be faking pregnancies and stuff. You want to know something else? You want to know why every time you see me put up a pregnancy test when I was in a relationship and then you don't see it no more? Because it is difficult for me to have children. And I've stated this before. So I'm sorry that I get excited. And I, and I decide to post something and then it doesn't happen. My bad for that. Which I shouldn't even feel bad for. Help me understand that. I am battling with so much. Fighting yourself. To the point. I couldn't fight no more. So when I posted that. I don't know how to sugarcoat. I've always been this hood. Cheerful. Tell it like it is type of person. You know, you couldn't catch me a couple of years being able to even talk like this without screaming and, you know, being extra. I'm about as calm as a whistle. You feel me? And tears, is it's okay. I am not upset because, because I've seen the comments. I am not upset because of a failed career. I've done so much in my career I'm proud of. I have loving family and friends around me. You feel me? I had a breaking point. I had a breaking point. The other thing I want to say in my growth is putting me in position to talk this way and be able to and be able to express this, but Meezy, Meezy, whatever you want to call yourself, Mega Meezy, that post that you made to Hollywood Unlock, when all of my close friends don't even know you like that. And you're supposed to be my friend. I have walked Stone Mountain with you on some spiritual stuff because we both suffer depression. I call you as a friend sometimes at night crying or texting you. We talk together and everything. You talk about some because of through OnlyFans. When I was sitting here, you didn't see me post on social media. My OnlyFans is a schedule. It's scheduled to always post. After three days of so-called everybody said that I wasn't, that I wasn't here or whatever that y'all were saying, I went on there and I seen some things that of my ex was saying and I got mad and sent out my response through OnlyFans. That does not mean that I am not going through things or an attention seeker. Now see... I want to go all the way in, but I'm not going to do that to you. I just know that from here on out, me and you are no longer friends because even when your friend had cancer, Cortez, I was the one that used to run 40 minutes to his house to force him to take black seed oil and he's cancer free right now. I was the one that did that. I was the one that would call you and ask you, are you depressed? But you won't tell these people that you don't really speak to me like that. You tried to date me. And when I finally tried to go on a date with you years ago, you stood me up and left me in a club while you was drunk at a strip club and you apologize you said how can i be your friend i said you know we could just be cool i don't i don't want to talk to you and ever since then we had spiritual moments about depression and anxiety and you go on a blog dude you go on a blog you go on a blog and you talk about me 